life evolved over the ages is clear from the changes we've made in the beasts and vegetables, but also from the record in the rocks. The fossil evidence speaks to us unambiguously of creatures that were once present in enormous numbers and that have now vanished utterly. There are far more species that have become extinct than exist today. There are the terminated experiments in evolution. These guys, for example, the trilobites, appeared 600 million years ago. They were around for 300 million years. They're all gone. There's none left. But in those old rocks, there are no fossils of people or cattle. We've evolved only recently. Evolution is a fact, not a theory. It really happened. Well, many people were scandalized by the ideas of evolution and natural selection. Our ancestors looked at the intricacy and beauty of life and saw evidence for a great designer. The simplest organism is a far more complex machine than the finest pocket watch. And yet, pocket watches don't spontaneously self-assemble or evolve in slow stages on their own from, say, uh, grandfather clocks. A watch implies a watchmaker. So, there seemed to be no way in which atoms could spontaneously fall together and create, say, a dandelion. The idea of a designer is an appealing and altogether human explanation of the biological world. But as Darwin and Wallace showed, there's another way. Equally human, and far more compelling. Natural selection, which makes the music of life more beautiful as the eons pass. guard our present ignorance with as much sympathy as we feel to the ancients for not knowing whether the earth went around the sun. If the general picture, however, of a Big Bang followed by an expanding universe is correct, what happened before that? Was the universe devoid of all matter and then the matter suddenly, somehow, created? How did that happen? In many cultures, the customary answer is that a God or gods created the universe out of nothing. But if we wish to pursue this question courageously, we must, of course, ask the next question. Where did God come from? If we decide that this is an unanswerable question, why not save a step and conclude that the origin of the universe is an unanswerable question? Or, if we say that God always existed, why not save a step and conclude that the universe always existed, that there's no need for a creation, it was always here. These are not easy questions. Cosmology brings us face to face with the deepest mysteries, with questions that were once treated only in religion and myth.